Hey guys, tutorial time again. I've had a quick request for the main riff in Just What You Need by Lower Than Atlantis, which was my last upload. Um, it's a really cool riff that I picked up in the same way I did English Kids in America by watching Mike's Instagram videos from when they're in the studio recording the album. Um, and it's from watching that that I noticed the first important thing, which is the tuning of the song. At first I thought it was in drop D, but when you watch what he's actually doing, you can see that he's detuned the top two strings. So what you have is the bottom half is all drop D, as you'd expect. So you've got D, A, D, G. And the top two, you've got B flat and E flat. Now those top two strings are really important for the chord sequence as well in the verse, so you'll be able to ring those out and it just completes the sound. So you get. So if we take a look at the riff itself, it starts off on the fifth fret of the bottom string, and then you're going to hit the open D string, hammer on the third fret, and then you're going to hit back down to the bottom string, so you're going to bounce back off there, and always palm mute the root note as well. So you start off with, then you're going to hit open string G string, and then the first little run you get is pretty much the same as the runs in English Kids in America. Start off on the third fret of the G string, hammer onto the fifth and pull up all off. go to the third fret of the D string, where you're going to first hit it and then pull it off, hammer it back on, and then hammer on the fifth fret. So slow down, that first part of the sequence is. At speed. And then the second time round starts off exactly the same. But then you're going to go to the B string, or the B flat string in this case, go to the fourth fret, Power on to the fifth, pull off to the fourth, and then pull off the open. And then you're gonna hammer on the second fret, pull it off, hammer it back on, and then hammer on the fourth fret. So you should have. So, all together, that first part should sound like. Now it's really difficult to not catch open strings and if you watch the video that Mike put up he's got a lot of strings taped down so you don't get all that open string bleed. Um, the rest of the progression moves down to the first fret so you're going to get an E flat and then you do the same thing the first, uh, first time around. Um, so you want to use your little finger to catch the third fret on the D string, I find that's the easiest to so move down to. to the third fret, same thing, but then you're going to do these power chords which is on the G and D string, so you've got third fret on the D string and fifth fret on the G string, and you're going to slide it up and then back down again and just strum it out so you get and it's just about, I'm just counting here, one E and a two E and a, and you'll have it down. So the second half of the sequence is... That's it. So all together, it should sound like. And then at speed, the whole thing should sound like. And that's it. So I hope that was helpful. And if you do post up your own cover of it, then feel free to pop it down in the links below. I'd love to see some more covers of this track. It's a really cool song. Um, any more requests, feel free to uh, pop them in the comments below as well. And I'll get to them as soon as I can. Cheers.
Yeah.